In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a realistic, cool looking glow to your images in PS Touch. Okay, guys, so let us start up with a project size. So I'm just going to click right here and click on blank document. So I'll make the width 1280 and I think I'll leave the height as it is and click on OK. All right, so now what we want to do click on click on this icon click on gradient so pick up this gradient put it right somewhere like this i want to scale it a bit okay so now what you want to do is to click on this icon click on the white and make it black and take it a bit darker so turn it off and this is it click on done so now let us import our image so you click right here click on this icon click on photo layer and photo library so pick up this image click on add so i think i'm going to flip it and maybe make it a bit smaller so I'm going to rotate it like this I think I should put it right here and I'll click on done all right so what we want to do next is to click right here click on this icon and add an empty layer click on done and you can use use the Mikey selection tool. make a rectangle like this but as you can see we have a sharp edge we don't want that so click right here deselect come to corners increase it a bit now make a selection like this as you can see it now gives us that curvy edge which is exactly what we want so now what you want to do is to click right here make sure we are in the empty layer click on this icon fill so let us not fill it with white let's make it a bit reddish so maybe five to six percent or seven so i think i'll leave it at five okay done so now click right here and deselect so now what we want to do is to transform so you click on this icon click on transform so i think we can rotate it like this maybe make it bigger okay put it right here so what you want to do is to click on extra click on lock aspect ratio and you can manipulate it the way you want so I think I'm going to align it with this thing. I think I'm going to make it a bit thinner. Okay. It looks fine at this point. I will say click on done. Click right here. Take it to the bottom. So now let us add some glows to it. So to add the glows, click right here click on select pixels click right here again and inverse all right so now you want to click on the layer drop down again click on this icon click on empty layer click on done so now you're going to click on this icon and fill so we want to fill it with white so click on color and pick white click on done so you could click right here and deselect so now we'll come over here again our layer drop down click on this icon set the blend mode to multiply so now what you want to do is to click over to effects and glow so let's increase the glow a bit okay you can come over to intensity Maybe you want to reduce the intensity a bit. Okay. 
it's up to you i think i'm cool with this done so now it's to add an outer glue to do that click right here again click on the bottom one which is this one click right on this icon duplicate it click on done so now what you want to do is to click on effects and glue so you can take it up I think this is looking fine done so before after so let us I think is a bit excess so you can erase that all right so you get the idea just erase that but now let us add some particles to it so click right here go to the bottom background layer which is this one click on this icon photo layer photo library and i would love to start with this image click on add so let's scale it to fill okay done set the blend mode to linear dodge and maybe you want to reduce the opacity a bit okay so click right here click on fade so pick a radio fade like this you can rotate it like this okay done so before after not bad you can also add another one maybe some specs click at the top click on this icon photo layer photo library so you can click on this click on add so done and let's change the blend mode to linear dodge so you can reduce the opacity of course and maybe you want to come to adjustment and take it somewhere right here done and yeah you can also fade it out fade you can click right here take this part to the top okay until you got something like this click on done so this is how easy this effect is thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye